you. All right, I'll tell him. Thanks. Ah. David? Nah, it's just the pain of not being on Jason's stag do it. Really gets me there. Drop dead sit features. <laughs> hey, if only had a thought, we could have all gone to Berlin and had a proper stag weekend. Berlin? What would I want to go Berlin for? Hey. I've seen some wicked stag parties in Berlin and Dusseldorf. Well, if I want to get married again, some bear call Fowley and I'll think about it, yeah? Do you mean if you want to get married again? <laughs> uh, we were having what's commonly known in the game, look, there's a laugh. Yeah, Bill reckons I should have gone to Berlin for me stag do. What do you want to go there for? Well, that's what I said. And I said... To be it... honest, I haven't really got time for an action replay. I just came to let you know your suit's ready for collection today. Uh, well, he won't need a suit tonight, love. Yeah, no. Unless it's his birthday suit, because that's what you'll be wearing, lad, when we tie you to a lamppost. <laughs> I think I'll stick to lemonade, all right? Uh, I am here, you know. Sorry, babe. Yeah, remember, you got your trousers taken up because you bought a suit for, like, the tallest man in the world. Anyway, they rang, so make sure you pick it up today. Okie dokie, I'll pick him up on my lunch hour. Make sure you do. Uh, and you, mister, make sure you don't be leading Jason astray tonight. Uh, and two words. Love you. Best man. All right, I'm on to it. I am. Give your phone, mate. <laughs> Me, ma'am. Oh, she's lost weight. Hi, ma'am. Do you have to do that? That is so immature. Oh. Your hair is so rank. They're like, what's her face out of the factory? Carla Connor. Janice Batters face. Oh, language, Sophie. Where is it? What have you done to yourself? Nothing. She's trying to like, what's her face? I'm just experimenting. Carla Connor. Well, any more messing about with your hair, you'll end up looking like Sinead or Connor. Oh, who's he? Mum, at your age, not your shoe size. Mm -hmm. Inspect the buffness. He is lush. Mm -hmm. uh, I sometimes wonder who the adult is in this family. Oh, Rosie, get alive. Enjoy your youth while it lasts. Well, rather than trying to recreate it when I'm 40. Oh, she is rare, man. <laughs> uh, it's funny. What's her name? Uh, it's Sean Williams. She's a looker Lulu. Right, I've got hold of him. Uh, we don't want to hear about your sex plight. Thank you very much, the lady friend. Jason, you moron. Have you told him about Todd? Didn't get that far, he's going to come over in a bit. Hey, don't you reckon that she looks like Lulu? <laughs> uh, stop nicking me act. You don't think Jason did invite him to the wedding, do you? Ah, uh, he'd have said. Mm, well, if he did, I wish he'd told me. I hope he squared it with Sarah. Ah, oh, be nice to see little Todd again. Little? Ah, oh, he's sweet. I used to always think you could put him in your pocket. You know, like a little puppy. You looking forward to seeing him? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's just if Jason wanted fireworks on his stag night, he's going the right way about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was Vera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good job I went with you for your looks and not your extensive vocabulary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, everything's uh, fine this end. Yeah. Yeah, Paul's all right. Oh, yeah, she's here. She sends her love. <laughs> yeah, all right then, Jack. Take care. Bye-bye. That was Jack. Really? I thought it was the president of the Soviet Union. Eh? Why have you lied to him? Oh, what, you want me to tell him the truth? Yeah, why not? Well, I don't want to give him any more stress, do I? Obviously not. Anyway, they'd only think that the golden boy was in the right. <gasps> Another day in the company of Mr. Allahan. I love my life. Yeah. Who are you texting? Sean. Are you going to see him in a minute? No, no, he's throwing a sickie because he needs a new shirt for Jason's tattoo. Anyway, listen, I am doing baked potatoes tonight. Loads of butter. You like? I like very much. <laughs> I might be a bit late, though. Oh, you've not got another departmental meeting, have you? No, I said I'd do something for Sally. Oh. No, I said I'd have a word with her, Rosie, about the possibility of going back to school. Mm. You better get a move on, missus. I hey, am not married yet, Mr Connor. <laughs> that wasn't a hint. Right, now then, Fizz. Is it true that your mum's done a run to the States and not taken Chesney? Oh, I I'm not taking her off road. Oh, are you not? No. She's always been very complimentary about my serving skills. Well... She's not gone forever. And since when did serving skills involve poking your nose in other folks' business that don't concern you? Oh. Oh, and Scylla never did that, did she? Oh, no, hang on a minute. She did. And she taught me everything I know. Compass. Um... You right, Kirky? Wicky, mate, yeah? 
See you, Francine. Who's Francine? It's something my dad always did when we was leaving the house. Keep them spuds on a low light. If thieves are watching us, and they'll think there's someone in, so they'll be less likely to rob us. I take good care of you, don't I? I don't know what I'd do without you. Top breakfast sat, by the way. Cheers. Who says you can't have beef curry first thing in the morning? I bet they're doing Bombay and stuff. Yeah, but are they lucky enough to get it in a tin like us? Who knows, eh? Who knows? I can feel it moving through me. So can I. I knew we should have eaten it up. You what? You winding me up, right? Only me. I've got my wallet. Did you know about this show? What? Todd. No, Jason, look, I hardly speak to him. Well, more than you do. But no, I haven't texted him in months. So you didn't invite him then? Of course I didn't invite him. You sure he's not winding us up? I'm quite sure. See you later, cats. Coming up today, reckon he's going to your stag too. Ah, oh, Todd, I don't believe this. And Sarah wouldn't have invited him. Well, what do you I think? somebody has. Well, how do you know about the stag? Do you been blabbing? Oh, no, of course not. Hey, you better warn Sarah. This is brilliant. Because if you don't, she sees him getting off the bus. Ma'am, she's in a right state at the moment. She's going off her head with it all. You don't understand. The slightest little thing's going to knock her over the edge. Right, I'm going to phone him now, tell him not to bother. What's his number? I've already tried phone ghost. Do you know what? I feel sick. I feel sick. It's not even my problem. It's going to be everyone's flaming problem if he turns up. Mine gone, Dad. Yep. What's he playing at, man? Mm. I can explain. No need. Them two muppets obviously caught up with you. You got what you deserved. Want them? You know, this is going to do wonders for our reputation. What's on the menu today? Well, we have insulata tricolor, or dough balls, or a fist fight with the chef. It was Molly. Molly? Tyrone's missus. Yeah, I know who she is, Paul. Why would she want to eat you? Actually, I'm not interested. What's the name of that restaurant that you're always raving on about? Le Manuel Carcesson. Hmm. You really rate that place, don't you? And you think that's what goes on there? Knives getting nicked, champagne, petty cash. Does their chef come in in the morning looking like he's done nine rounds with Prince Nazim? Of course not. Yeah, well, think on then. We're not some flea and burger bar up to our eyes in Salmonella, Paul. We should be aiming high. Act accordingly. I'm sorry. Oh, get out of my face. I'm doing a PhD in accountancy here. Yes. Yes, well, right. Well, I'll, 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 I'll see you there then, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bye. Ah, that uh, was Ivor. Oh, your good friend, Mr Limp. Uh, Ivor Limp. Rita, please. I mean, surely the only thing you share with Phyllis Diller is your birth date. Well, OK, then. What about your friend, Mr Model Railway in the back garden, then? You get it? I have a railway in the back. I got it the first time round, thank you. And anyway, what, what would that make you, Mrs uh, Nightmare, Mrs I'm a Nightmare? <laughs> Are you having another meeting of the ex-wives club? Ex-husband's club, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm green with envy. Well, there's no smoke without fire. I might even dress as a fella just to try and gate crash. Well, excuse me, I need to spend a penny. It's amazing what a diuretic your conversation can be. Have you ever heard the phrase, too much information? I hope Sean is feeling better soon. Well, maybe you should bob over with a bunch of grapes with you. You think I should? No, I don't. No. You'd be doing what we call in this country, making all the yourself. I don't know if there's one thing I can't bear, it's unprofessionalism. If is you heard out from Space Hopper? No. Space Hopper? Silla. That will ever hear from her again. Oh, shocking, that is. It's shocking, isn't it, Sally? Oh, it's shocking. And your little brother having fem for himself? God, love him. Leave it out, Kelly. Do you know, I always thought he had a Dickensian air about him. I mean, really, your mum should be locked up. I left my son in Poland. I came over here to earn decent money. Decent? You reckon our wages are decent? Sometimes you have to make hard decisions in life. Yeah, but your son's like, what, in his 20s? 20. 21. Yeah, well, her little brother's only a kid. Still, we must not jump to conclusions. And I bet you send money home, don't you? Still a warm. Where is everyone? Gran's nipped to the bank and Marie's gone out. Hey, you. What's the matter? Everything's going wrong. 
No, it's not. Why? What's going wrong? I've left, like, 3,000 messages on Candice's answering machine and she's still not got back to me. I mean, some matron of honour she's going to be. At this rate, we're going to have no matron of honour and no best man. Anyway, what's happened? Nothing. Oh, stupid girl. She probably can't get the time off work. She's just too scared to tell me. I was just going to say, um, I don't know who to ask to be best man. I always thought Charlie would do that, but obviously you can't. Oh, Chase, just ask who you want. I don't care. Ask your Todd for all I care. As far as I'm concerned, this wedding's a mess. Todd? You reckon? No, I don't reckon. God, are you stupid? Like, we want him there ruining our day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, what else can go wrong? Everything's gonna be fine, OK? I promise. Oh, hello. You all right, Sarah? She's fine. Why shouldn't she be? Well, is she allergic to mascara, then? <laughs> Shut up. David, I've got something in my eye, OK? Ah, uh, something gone wrong. None of your business. Starting early, aren't you? Oh, no, no, I want to get you some bubbly, you know, to toast your term. That's all they have. Oh, come on, come in. I don't know if you've ever had this experience, Vicky, but when a really good teacher, and I'm talking oh, inspirational here, opens your eyes. Oh. I have had that experience, yes. Because I was washing my face this morning and I looked at my sponge and I was thinking, I'm just like you. I want to soak everything up. You know, not just water and soap, but life. I had a good teacher in Poland, Mr. Jelita Zamoyski. He taught me English. Oh, like John. <coughs> well, I can speak English, so he's teaching me English lit. That's English literature, books and that. You know, poetry, plays. Anybody else? Look at Vicky. She's bored with you. She's practically propping her eyes open with my <sighs> Personally, I think that glasses look very distinguished on a man. He prefers a contact lens. Well, two actually. <laughs> <laughs> she fancies him. No, she doesn't. Oh, she so does. Masterful. That's the word that springs to mind. Don't! You give me a hot flash. <laughs> I can't believe I'm back. This room. Oh, does me head in this room. He's a good rag roll. <laughs> well, me so 90s. I know. <laughs> I, uh, I want to put some flowers on Billy's grave before I came here. That's what you might. <sighs> anyway. Well, it's good to see you. How's Ben? No, oh, don't ask. We had a bit of a barney. <gasps> Did he hit you? With his handbag, I'd like to see him try. No. But he did throw my phone in the dog's water bowl, so I packed my bags. Well, are you back for good, then? No. I just needed some space. I might, uh pop over and see Jason in a bit, actually. Is it the builders? Or is he getting a manicure for his <laughs> big night out? No, 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 I think he's probably out on a job. Anyway, you stay here with me. I want you all to myself. <laughs> How does your angle getting off work? Well, I'm only temping at that dump. If I'm not there, I'm not there. Oh, do you know what? I thought a degree would make the world your oyster. Are you joking? Need a PhD in metaphysics to be a bin man these days. <laughs> Gives a top up. <sighs> hey. <laughs> there you go and smile. Away. Oi! I'm not one of your lucky. Speak to me with some respect. Look, I don't know what you're getting so uptight about. Uh, my money, my champagne. Shall I go on or is your short term memory still intact? They're not gangsters, you know. They're not going to be coming back. They've taken what they wanted. <laughs> 
Well, I see they didn't take your recipes. I wonder why. Relax. I'll replace everything. Pedro, uh, table three. You know, I am so glad that you've not had a dodgy past. Otherwise, I'd say you were a hypocrite. I've just had a very obtuse conductor on that single decker. I was going to show him me pass. And he said, yeah, it's all right, love. We know you're a pensioner. For obtuse, try honest. I knew it was trouble the minute I saw him scratching his back with a bunty. They don't make bunty anymore. All the girls want to read about celebs these mm. days. You see, my problem is, I still think I'm 25. Ah. Gone are the days when I could get me lay round my neck to bend me, shape me. Oh, this is very depressing. Somebody cheer me up. Well, Norris has a meeting of the ex-husband's club on Friday. Yeah. Why is my social life such a source of boulevard entertainment for you two? Oh, and you better not think of joining us and commenting from the sidelines. Oh, relax, Norris. I shall be at home with a bottle of Merlot. Oh. Where did you uh, say you were meeting? I, I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it's only one piece then. That's the start. Well, I've not told you, have I? No. Has Wonder Boy returned? Yeah, he's just bobbed in the shower. He's really looking forward to tonight. So you've not told me we weren't expecting then? Well, he was just so pleased to be asked. But, ma'am, that's exactly it. He weren't asked. Look, I'll see you back at the house in a bit. But what about Sarah? Not now, eh, hey, ma'am? Well, what I was thinking was... What? Look, Kirk, I know you're really enjoying being the man of the house and that, but... I'm doing a good job. She hasn't said he don't know what to do without me. I think he should move in with me. Look, Kirk, I'm family. I'm his only family. Well, it feels like family. I'm going to tell him tonight. I'm sorry, Kirk, but I really, really do think this is for the best. I need to do. I like your shirt. Thank you. Are you going somewhere? Do I look like I'm going anywhere? No. It's just, um, you usually wear a T-shirt. Well, uh, it was clean. Oh, I like that. I just, um, grab it if it's clean. Oh. Hello, Underworld. Rosie speaking. How can I help you? Oh, hi, John. Oh, no, I've got it switched off. Sorry. What, Lisa? OK, yeah. It's a date. OK, bye. Sorry. I know I shouldn't take personal calls in the office. Ma'am, have you got any deodorant? I've not bought any. My dressing table. Hello, stranger. You all right? Yeah, uh, just had a shower. All right. Thanks, Chase. What for? Inviting me? Yeah, well, there's been a bit of a mix-up about that, actually. Um, you're not invited. Subtle as ever. At least I'm straight to the point, unlike some people pussyfooting around. Up to Sarah for you. Are you having a laugh? I wish I was. But uh, I got an invite. Yeah, I never sent it. Well, you signed it. Don't miss my stag do, Jace, and the date. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that. Thought about it. it was your handwriting. I'll, I'll show you. I know who sent it. It was David Platt. David Platt? Why would he do that? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Because he is weird. You could chop him in half, he'd have freak written for him like a piece of rock. I'm not messing. Mind you, with a mother like that, well. So you never sent that? Sorry, mate. <sighs> yeah, I don't believe it, right? Come all this way, go to all this effort just to be humiliated. You know, I thought you were holding out an olive branch. I thought it was bigger, but yeah, I should have known. Oh, Todd, don't be like that. Do you know how much a train ticket costs from London, Jason? You know, he'd be a great forgery. He's got your handwriting down to a T. David is intent on wrecking the wedding party. Can you believe that? Well, why didn't you phone me? Look on the back. No need to RSVP see you there. Why would I write RSVP? Just don't believe it. Look, Todd, I'm really sorry, all right? 
What more do you want? Blood? Well, I'm not sorry. I'm glad he's here. I've missed him. Look, I'll go back to London. It's... Uh, no, you will not. You'll stay here. I'm only going to be in the way. Oh, what? Go back and be his whipping boy. Where's your self-respect? Ma'am, do you know how stupid I feel? Well, you shouldn't. I'm going to kill him. I tell you, I'm going to kill him. Well, he's been in London way too long. We shouldn't be killing David Platt. We should be thanking him. No. No, this can't be serious. But I paid that money for the deposit. The money went out of my account. No, I don't want the flaming money back. I want the hotel. No, I will not calm down. Listen, no, you listen, right? You put me on to the owner now. Jason, speak to the hotel. They've double booked us. We haven't got reception. Hey, hey, hello. What's going on? Babes, they put me on hold. What is going on? Maybe you can tell me. Hi, Sarah. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I've just had a shower. All oh, right, and is that supposed to be funny? Hey, is he supposed to be funny? Get off him! Get out! Oh, don't worry, I'm going. She's just had a really bad day, that's all. My son can visit me whenever he likes. Do you know what, Todd? As ever, your timing is perfection. If you want to know why I'm here, ask your freak of a brother. Right, yeah, hello. Yeah, me and she said something about a double booking. Yeah. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Sarah, look, mate, I'll have to call you back. Sarah! Do you do this on purpose? Hey, do you? Every time, every time something special comes along, you steal it away from me. Why, Jace? What sort of sick joke are you playing? I am not playing any games, sir. Last time you jump out of a registry office window, this oh. time you invite your brother along. I had no idea he was coming, I the swear. The one I was engaged to? The one who turned out to be gayer than a barrel of pink monkeys? The one who caused me so much heartache, my baby died? Well, thank you very much. Nice one. Babes, this isn't my doing, it's David's. He's invited him to wind us up, and guess what, Sarah? It worked. Wait till I get my hands on him. Sarah, don't give him the satisfaction. Now the flipping hotel's gone and cancelled. Well, I'll sort it. Just don't go in there. What makes the flaming church blows up? Sarah, no, don't you dare. Can't you see that way he wins? You all right, Sarah? Oh, go back to your cauldron, Eileen. She don't mean that, ma'am. You don't mean that, do you? Mean? Mean? Well, I can pack a mean punch, lady. What's going on? Nothing, Gail. Everything's under control. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. What happened? Wondered how long it'd be before you turned up. Glass of wine, Eileen. Wouldn't a can of lager be more your style? Ma'am, come inside. Stop showing yourself up. What are you doing here? Careful the wind doesn't change, Gail. Well, look what the cat's dragged in. No, look what the bitch drags up. And who invited him, Gail? Ma'am. David. Oh, um, see you at your dress fitting later, Sarah. I'm really looking forward to it. Tell me she's deluded. He said he'd ruin my day and he has. David, but I... Oh, here we go. Everything all right? Yeah, fine, thank you. Come on. Will you not come back to the salon, Sarah? Uh, no, I just want to talk about something with her. Tell your brother and I'll call her later. Come on. You sure? Yeah, fine, thanks. We can't just snap him, because if we start, they might never stop him. And the problem with that is... Oh, I think I'm having a panic attack. Deep breaths. Sarah, don't worry, everything's under control, I promise. <sighs> David be on Eileen's Christmas card list this year. You mark my words. And into the sour cream, you put the dill, lemon juice, a bit of salt and some sugar. And you just pour that over the salad? With some chopped egg. Right. I think I might stick to baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> Polish people, we love our food. Yeah, we can tell that, Vicar. <laughs> Kelly? Oh. If you are what you eat, Kelly, I believe you eat toilet brushes. Go, girl. I take it you put John up to ask me out tonight. It's not a date, Rosie. It was his idea. Just listen to what he's got to say to you. She's at it again. She'll be on Mastermind next. Specialist subject, my fella. I idolised my English teacher. Mr. Yelita Zamoyski, he was wonderful. He was the beast news. But he didn't keep banging on about him. No, I did actually. But I have big feelings for him. What happened? I tried to kiss him. 
English study group Christmas disco, and his wife was not very happy. Understandably. <laughs> so I had to find another college. This is what he said he'd do. I don't believe this. Well, you do believe it. Makes sense. The proof's standing five foot nine wearing moisturizer around at my mum's. Where does he get off? Look, the bottom line is, guys, we can't let him think he's winning, right? He has won. Todd's turned up. Well, let's not let him see. We're bothered. Just laugh it off. Say it's really nice to see him again. Hey, I tell you what, I can invite him to the stag, dude. That'll really wind him up. Oh, for... I'm saying nothing. Would well, you want David to screw it all up again? No, of course not. I don't want to give him satisfaction. Right. Well, whatever you think, say you're made up. It'll kill him. He's hoping. Give me strength. Hey, gorgeous. Hiya, sexy. Listen, the only thing that's going to make today bearable is if you agree to come out with me tonight. I'm talking pictures and pizza, flicks and falafel, movies and margaritas. Maria, it's up to you. Well, Audrey was talking about overtime, but I could maybe try and swap it till tomorrow night. OK, I'll give you a call back later. See ya. Well, where is he then? Don't you believe in him astray now? Hey, would I? Yeah, of course you would. You might be old enough to be his granddad, but mentally you'd give Beth a run for her money. Hey, and if I hear you've been to some vile lap dancing club, I will go away. What about some really nice lap dancing club then? What, with Todd and Sean? I very much doubt it. <laughs> well, I don't see why you should have your brother dictating his stag night to you. Listen, if it's going to be a hassle, I'd rather not go, all right? No, it might be bad luck on the wedding if you don't go. Right, cos it's all been plain sailing so far, innit? Anyway, I've got your mum coming round later. We're going to do the unveiling of the dress. After what you said to her? Yeah, well, I can be grown up about this, even if she can't. Quit while you're ahead, son. Come on. But I just want to have a good night, not just avoid more bad luck. Yeah, well, make sure you don't step on any pavement cracks. What, do you want me to walk on my hands like me, Yappy? Oh, you're just being <laughs> silly now. Hey, wait till you see the car we're going in. <laughs> Look, if you're going to go, just go. Oh, mate, look at the wheels. These well booting. That's wellies. God, it's fabulous. Well, I guess it'll fit us all in. Um, all right, hey. remember Jamie? He's not an our bus. Oh, how's it going? All right? Yeah, all right, mate. I've been hearing a lot about you. Uh, I'll go to hope. Good stretching it. Bland, maybe. Aha! Uh, hey! hey. Get in, Todd. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! Come on in. Hey, you are, John. Well, I see you. Oh, coming through. Hello, Underworld. Rosie speaking. How can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry. He's not here at the moment. Oh, right. Um, could you pass in a message for me? Would you just tell him I'll meet him at Milk Bar at about eight o'clock? I've just got a nip into town now for some bits, so if you just tell him I'll meet him there. OK, then, yeah. Bye now. Has anyone rang? No. What's for pudding? Fancy another tin of curry? It's not nutritious to eat the same thing all the time. Well, you can have a bag of crisps. Boom ting. What does it mean again? Cool and that. You should bring some back home from butchers. Nah, they don't do anything ready cooked. Right. At least with the tin, you know, it's edible and that. Oh, Fizzy's popping around later. Why? I forget. Get in! 
you sure you're not overloading yourself? What, like a washing machine? <laughs> no, I mean taking on too much, moving Chesney here. Look, Maria, I know Kirk's your brother, and in loads of ways he's dead good for Chesney, but he's not very organised, and children, they need a routine. What's up? Have I said something I shouldn't have? Oh, my nerves are gone. Maria, you're meeting your fella for a bevy. It's hardly a job interview. Oh, well, maybe it is. It's been Mrs Liam Connor. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Where's he taking you? That bar milk. Oh, well, the white stuff's good for you. There's something not right between me and him. You're just not used to being with a nice boy. That's your problem. No. I keep waiting for it to go wrong. For him to find out there's a lot less to me than meets the eye. <sighs> right, I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, I really appreciate you allowing me to do all the alterations to your frock set. I really do. I mean, I know I'm one of the best seamstresses at Underworld, but even so, I was just... Well, I was just flattered to be asked. Oh. What's this, your Oscar acceptance speech? I just asked you because you're my mum's friend. Well, it doesn't look like Eileen's coming. You can see I'm weighed down with disappointment. Is Eileen coming? Well, I thought it'd be nice to show both mums the dress at the same time, because I'm a nice person. Yeah, you're too good for her. Mm. Look how she repays you. And keep your gob shut about Todd. Todd? Yeah, come back for the stag do. Larger than life and no doubt shoving his sexuality in your face at every opportunity as per. Yeah. Sorry about, um, earlier. What exactly? Losing my temper in the street. Well, I think we were all a bit thrown by Todd's arrival. Oh, Gail, you said Todd twice there without throwing up. There's progress for you. I'll, um, I'll go put the dress on. Glass of wine, Eileen? Please. Or shall I just bring you the bottle and a straw? <laughs> <laughs> it must be really interesting having a, a gay son. Well, a lot of key figures in historical literature were homosexual, weren't they? In fact, Oscar Wilde, he was known for it. No. Oscar Wilde? Really? And not just for literature. Oh! And Rupert Everett's very easy on the eye. Oh, Sarah. You look stunning. Doesn't she? Oh, well enough. Sarah, you look beautiful. <gasps> ah! oh! Oh. Sarah, you okay? I'm fine. Fine. <sighs> <sighs> Turn into a statue of Beethoven with nothing but the straps of his later hosen. Nice. Hey, don't forget the fluff in his cheeks. Bikes all round, is it? Yeah, go on, mate. Oh, well, I wonder who that could be. Well, uh, you're under the thumb, son. Maybe your turn had the right idea, jumping shit. <laughs> I think I did, Bill. <laughs> and what's she saying now? Have you remembered your pants? Why, where did she think we're taking you? A nudie bar. Well, I was supposed <laughs> to pick up my trousers from the menders, wasn't I? Yeah, we can see who wears the trousers in your relationship. Hey. Uh, there's a free table, I'm hey. going to grab it. Hey, shall we get some chasers? Get us in the mood. Go on, Billy boy. The only night out worth having is the one you can't remember. <laughs> uh, Chase, you sure this is all right? What, you being here? It doesn't feel weird. Listen, mate, I want this wedding to be a good thing. If it's got me and you talking again, I'm made up, all right? Come on, let's get a drink. I look at Carla. And I see a strong woman with a thriving business. Has she inherited that place, though? Oh, well, yeah. I suppose I'll just have to marry right. Who do you think you are, Anna Nicole Smith? Look, I know you've got me here to lecture me about going back to school. And I know my mum thinks I'm some stupid kid. But you've said before, though, that you want to be bigger than Carla. Well, yeah. Well, 
I don't see how you're going to get there without studying first. And that's not me lecturing you or saying what your mum wants me to say. It's common sense. But the thing is, sometimes, when it's your mum speaking sense, it's hard to hear it. Well, yeah, um, she just goes on. I know how exciting it is earning money for the first time. I hated me teaching practice. I used to skive off and hide in the loo, but when I were being paid for it, bring it on. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to lose my independence. To get to the top, you got to move up. What's the likelihood of that happening at Underworld? Carla's not going to stand aside, is she? It's her business. Think how much better you do with a degree in business studies. I don't know. It's just I feel like I'm learning loads where I am. I mean, I get to talk to buyers, sellers, keep diaries, the database. School couldn't teach me that. I don't want to. Maria doesn't mind. Well, I do. I like it here. I like him. Chesney, look at the state of the place. It's like a poster for the NSPCC. Give money to stop poor Chesney living in squalor. It's only as bad as it was when my mum were here. We'll tidy it. We will. What about Schmeichel? He's too big to stay in your flat. And I'm not living without him. Look, Chesney, I know you like it here, but I'm... Well, what if we just keep things as they are for now? See how it works out? I might be pants up looking after him, but we won't know unless I get a fair crack at it, will we? Please, Fizz. Please. Oh. Boom ting. What about Leanne Battersby's place? The Italian? Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's not a big posh hotel with grounds or anything, but it might be free to start. Do you think, Sarah, should I give them a call, see how much it would cost? Well, they might want you to hire the whole place, but I bet they'll be thrilled. Great. Happiest day of my life and the catering's done by a hooker. Oh, well, at least the fellas will be happy. She could make a fortune. Well, as long as she stays away from my Jason, I don't care. I'll give them a call. What on earth's that? Bet I know. Oh, yes, it's Donnie Darko. David, is that what you call him? Oh, take no notice of him. Do you know, it's really reassuring to see that you snag your own kids off as well as everyone else's. <gasps> I've had enough of him. Ignore him. Don't fan the flame. <sighs> yeah, your mum's right, Lovie. I don't care. Oops, sorry. Sarah, don't be daft. Hey, you can't go out with your dress on. Watch me. Sarah, come <laughs> Hi, my name's Mr Jack Duckworth. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about increasing a loan I've got with you. Yeah, I just want to free up some extra capital. Well, I've got my house down as security, so uh, can you tell me how easy that'd be? <laughs> I did not. You did. Well, you can talk. You used to beg me to stay away because you thought there were snakes under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Therapists have had a field day with that. And he thought there was burglars breaking all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true, actually. <laughs> See, am I the best big brother you've ever had the world? Hey, you are. Hey, he's bladdered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder who this is. Hey, tell her what it's spearmint rhino. Hey, babe. All right, calm down. What's up? You are the luckiest skirt person. <laughs> hey, so, Jamie. You seen anyone? Um, no. Hmm, you have to think about that. What about you? Uh, yeah. No. I don't know. Hey, look, at least I gave you a definitive response. Well, it's, it's complicated. It always is. Listen, lads, I'm gonna have to get off. I can't make Edna tell her what she's saying, but something terrible's happened. Is she all right? Well, I can't hear. She's crying that much. Listen, lads, you stay here, carry on drinking. I'll see you back in an hour, yeah? Are you sure? I don't know yet. I'll come with you. No, you're all right, mate. Hey, what brother's for? Well, don't be long, otherwise I'll be dragging these two down Canal Street. Hey, I worked in Berlin for two years, cop. Nothing surprises me. Come on, we'll get a taxi. Hey, take the limo. They've got it all right. Listen, lads, I'm really sorry. I've seen a bit, yeah? <sighs> She's a nightmare. Well, we're looking forward to it. We won't let you down. All right, thanks. Bye. Good news. I have sorted out the finances. Not only can we replace everything that Stuart took, but I can also stump up the cash for you to pay off Roger. I want this place to work. I'm on the level, sweetheart. Mm. And you think I was born yesterday? Anyway, back in the real world, we have just got our first wedding booking. Gail Platt phoned and she's booked the whole place for Sarah's reception. Oh, things are looking up, eh? No, she's a really nice girl. She just gets it in the neck a bit from her mum. What are you, the 
Webster family social worker now, then? Well, Sally's really struggling, love. Oh, is she? Yeah, well, she wants to do what's best for her daughter. And what she... about me? I want to do what's best for Chesney. Do you give a toss about that? Yeah, of course I do. Do you? You know I do. Well, I don't, actually. You've talked about nothing but the Webster since you got here. I thought you were interested. Well, I'm not. I'm actually really worried about my brother and whether I've just made a really bad decision. Thanks. Can I uh, help get you out of them wet clothes? They're not wet. Could be arranged. Do one, will ya? Chase, Chase. I'll wait outside. I'm hardly person of the month here, am I? My mum's in there. Still, it's best not. No, let's get it over and done with now, all right? Oh, are you sure? Listen, if Gail lays into you, my mum will sort her out, all right? Come on. Oh, I'm sure I can make it better with a bit of invisible stitching. Oh, Sally, shut up. God, you go on. Please yourself. I'll go on, then. At least if I get shouted out there, it's by my own flesh and blood. I'm sorry, Sally. Oh, for goodness sake! What is he? What's going on? I, uh... That's a wine tub. That's not funny. Oh, a dress. You've seen me in my dress! Why are you doing this to me? What did you bring him for? Sarah, you were crying that much, I couldn't work out what you were saying. Do you not know his bad luck? I'll go, uh... Too right you will. Oh, Jason, are you thick? No, he is not. That's debatable. Maybe I'll stay. Look, I'm not lucky, see? I'm not lucky. Oh, you moron. I thought you were going! Shout him! He hasn't done anything! I could write a book about what he's done wrong! Jason, get out! What did he do that for? Because this whole wedding's going down the pan and it's all down to you! Well, he's not the one who's overreacting. Overreacting? I'm stood here with my dress ripped and you told me that I'm overreacting! Well, there's no need to hit him! After everything you've done to me, Todd, you've got a cheek to tell me that I'm overreacting! Well, I can't see the bailer out. What are you still doing here? What are you kicking off at us for? Shouldn't you be having a go at your freak of a brother? <laughs> Gets red wine stains out. On carpets, not on wedding dresses. <sighs> Does anybody else want to throw anything on me? I don't mean sarcastic, by the way, Jason. Best goal, Jace. Yeah, first decent thing you've said in your entire life, Todd Grimshaw. Yeah, get away from Psycho, bro. Get out! Yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, will you? Oh, yeah. Well, no, because as far as I'm concerned, I never want to see you as long as I live. What's he done? In fact, as far as I'm concerned, I never want to see you. Let's just call the whole thing off! Much as it pains me to say, I'm sure she'll be fine in the morning. Nothing better than happy families, eh? The battle for Doc Martin's attention is about to heat up next on ITV1 as the new series continues. No big hats for the hopefuls as they head to a wedding reception in Hell's Kitchen, USA over on ITV2. While on ITV3, new romantic mystery in Carolina Moon, part of the Nora Roberts collection. <laughs>